Good morning guys and welcome back to another eBay video. We're going to be starting off this eBay video with a return. Yes, it finally happened to me in my eBay adventure. I got my first return. I tried to cover the uh, the label as best as I could. I tried sharpening it out. That wasn't working so I put a note card over it and then a bunch of eBay tape over the tracking number so nobody can catch me lacking. Uh, but we're going to go ahead. Uh, this item was a gigabyte uh like hard drive system type thing one of them fans uh i, I don't know what it's called man I'm, I'm just a dirty reseller bro i just find things at goodwill and try to resell it for money but i actually ended up selling this for about 47 dollars. i took a best offer on it i had it up for so long for about 55 i think i had it for 60 then i dropped it down to 55 and then i took an offer of uh 47 the guy got it he said that Although the box outside looked brand new, the inside was used. And uh, the thing is, I bought this when I first started my adventure of eBay, and I wasn't really taking the time to look inside of boxes. And I'm very happy that I do that now because there are a lot of times where you'll open up a box thinking that something is new and you come to find out that no, it's actually not new. Uh, it's actually either something completely different than what's supposed to be in the box or it is uh, just not there. So uh, we got the item in question right here. Cool dude gave me back my bubble wrap, so I don't have to buy bubble wrap now. I got to save a little bit. Oh, he actually, hold on now. He actually gave me all my bubble wrap back. Yes, sir. I put that in there so that uh, it wasn't really moving around. But this is the item in question, right? Hold on now, let me try to get some thumbnail action. I mean, it's gonna happen, right? It's gonna happen. Uh, you're always gonna get returns, you know? I mean, my girlfriend, right? I hate the way she shops, bro, because she'll buy things off like Shine and Walmart and stuff like that and then like just return it immediately. I absolutely hate that, man. Uh, I almost never return things, bro. I I'm just that kind of guy. Hold on now, girlfriend. You are you're in your boxers. Stay what away. Are you talking about me? I ain't talking about you. So this is the item right here, right? Um, so we're just going to open it on camera, right? I haven't opened the box. Uh, this, is, this is his experience. So you can see, right? Like it is, it looks like it would be brand new. That's why I picked this up. That's why I didn't care to really open it at the time. Uh, so let's see, we gotta figure out how we open this. Oh, here we go. So you open this, hold on, let me go ahead and move the camera down. So this was his experience. He opened it up and this is what I saw because I do remember a girlfriend opening this up like this and we saw that it was in this bag. So my, my thought process was is new box, it's in here and uh, so in the thing okay yes yeah, so okay i can definitely see that poor guy dude so you can actually see yes it was actually dirty uh unless he sent me his old one uh and i got this one i, I don't know but uh i did not check right so it was my mistake i did not check and now i just have this bitcoin miner that doesn't work anymore this ethereum miner uh which sucks you know it, it, it sucks but what i'm gonna end up doing is i'm just gonna keep it as is right and then i'm going to re-donate it to goodwill at the end of the year so that i can get uh tax deduction on this right because hold on up camera i'm not just gonna let this go to waste you know i paid five dollars for it uh i'm gonna re-donate it to goodwill if they ask me i'm just gonna be like i don't know anything bro sorry uh <laughs> you know irs irs loves taking our money man i might as well try to keep some of my money man i work hard for my money so that is the return kind of sad that it didn't work out uh but it's a valuable lesson man even if something looks clean looks new open the box and what ebay actually does is they tape it right they tape it closed so you don't open it i don't care you could glue it bro i am going to open this box uh, I always tell girlfriend all the time, I'm like, girlfriend, get, she has this like little thing on her keychain, girlfriend, open up the box for me, right? Then I open up the box, it ain't even what's on the picture, bro. So yeah, kind of sucks, but is what it is, it happens. There is my first eBay return. Now, let's go shopping for some more items. All right, let's do this. Let's see what we can find at the first Goodwill. Purple tags today. I decided to go about uh, my adventure today a little differently. I actually did not start with the polos, but I started with like the miscellaneous and back wall section. And I'm happy I did because this thing is really cool. It's like a wind speed indicator, but it's like a vintage one. I, I could not find this one on 
eBay. I had to actually search it up on Google and I still couldn't find it. And then girlfriend found this Amazon Kindle, but they wanted $15 for it. And again, I could not turn it on when I tried to turn it on. So at that point, I'm not gonna spend $15 for something that I don't know if it even works. QT500 wired keyboard, brand new. I don't know, keyboards don't really go for that much, but we'll check it out. There's also a saw, oh, that's way too heavy. Can't pick that up, but we'll pick this up. See if that sells. This was a pretty good find. I found an athletic supporter jock strap. Uh, it's medium for adults. You can see right there, uh, there was only one that sold and that's all I need, so I got it. So I got done looking at all of the miscellaneous items. I came over to look at the polos and they're so overpriced now. Look, I looked at this Callaway. They want $8 for this Callaway which is way too much money. And then there was another Callaway somewhere over here. They wanted another $8. It's just way, oh, here we go. Here's a Greg Norman that I found. Really nice, clean looking shirt, eight bucks again. That's too much. I ended up finding these BJR short sleeve button downs. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. And I think all five of them are five dollars each apparently i think they're like vintage or something i mean they all look clean they all look nice five bucks each is five of them so that's what 25 bucks in shirts i didn't notice at the time i was looking at this but this is a peyton manning broncos t-shirt uh, i didn't know but it was actually for youth and i don't like picking up youth clothing uh, because it sells for a lot less money if this was for adults i would have picked it up but because it's youth i put it back at the end all right guys so girlfriend found this honeywell pro 4000 and look at the picture right it's a th421 i was going to pull it out the box to actually see what's in here and this is what's in here like what what even is this dude this is nothing this is not that that's crazy they just kind of stuck this in here no nah, man that's crazy we're putting that back if it was actually in there it was about a 70 60 70 dollar flip one thing though if you are going to get into reselling i'll go over everything i bought later but if you're going to get into reselling you're going to have a lot of boxes in your car and uh, the best way to get boxes and the cheapest way in my opinion is to just go to walmart uh they're always stocking the shelves and you can always find good boxes there i mean look i found these kleenex boxes uh you know and then even little boxes like this these are hard to find man and they're expensive because they're they're a unique size so uh, yeah i just find boxes like that there's girlfriend right there come on girlfriend we gotta go to the second goodwill so this was a superb find i found another polo ralph lauren brand new the thing was they only wanted eight dollars for this so i kept thinking that maybe it was fake and I, I don't know because like the the you can see the guy on the horse right it looks really big normally i don't see them that big i ended up putting it in the cart and i actually did buy that and i'm going to sell it for some good money so this is a word of advice if you can find any sports clothing especially nfl or nba even if it's reebok or nba apparel nfl apparel always pick them up and check if you can get it for a good price because those probably sell the fastest for me and here's another bucks one but this one was like yeah i don't know what brand that was this polo was a decent callaway it was an opti dry it did not have the v up front with how i like it it did have the v on the sleeve though uh, i did put this one back though i'm really starting to like i, I don't want to buy shirts anymore with stains and you can see me going back right now because that callaway uh, was only five dollars but when you look at this callaway look how much they wanted this one for 798 and then that one was 798 so i don't know who's doing their pricing man but they suck all right girlfriend what'd we find go ahead and show me okay no that's a bank this have does uh, the only thing is it's heavy uh, brand new adidas it's pretty cool cowboys who is this Whitten? So I always like looking through the plushes and the stuffed animals. I found a Disney Pluto one. The problem with Pluto is that he's not like Mickey or Minnie where you can sell it for, you know, 15 plus dollars. The Pluto was only selling for about 11 to 12 dollars. And uh, I wanted to pick up the Yoshi and show you guys why I didn't get it. It's ripped in case anyone asks me in the comments. But uh, yeah, no, no, there's just not a lot of stuffed animals right now in the stores. This was a decent pickup. It's nothing insane. It's just a regular Nike shirt. Uh, the camera doesn't really pick it up that good, but the Nike, the logo, and the words are all glittery, and that's why I picked it up, thinking that it might sell a little faster because of that. 
I really wish I could have picked this Miami Dolphins t-shirt up. From like the midsection up, it looked great. But from the mid lower, it just looks like the shirt was washed way too much. And it started getting that like puffy texture on it. And I don't think anyone's going to want to, you know, wear that. All right. So I have a lot of things I have to do at home and don't have much time to record this at home. So we're going to do this outside. The first thing I found was actually a new with tags Polo Ralph Lauren. Now, I didn't know if it was real because, you know, this looks very big. And then it also says Polo right here here so i mean it looked real enough for me to buy it and it wasn't even expensive eight dollars for that pretty good find there this was a pretty cool pickup i've picked up lebron james shirts in the past they wanted 6.98 for it but it was half off it's a nike dry fit and what makes it cool is this little tag right here kind of like lebron's signature thing this shirt i picked up just because it stood out it was six dollars and 98 cents again it's the nike t it's not a dry fit but it was half off so three dollars for a nike shirt i mean for something that i'll resell for about 12 to 15 bucks it's not a bad flip this is the stuff that we found at the first goodwill it's a qq family you don't have to open it but it's a qt 500 wired keyboard keyboards aren't they're always in demand so i ended up finding that one open box for about 25 or 30 bucks so that this one that i found is brand new this one's actually really cool though you have to show this one i have no idea what it is please don't drop it girlfriend if you don't hold it like that please no don't hold it like that no oh my gosh girlfriend hold it like this okay thank you it's one of those like air wind things I, i'm not sure so this one is a phillips respironics minimal contact full face mask they wanted six dollars for this but we ended up finding two of them so i'm gonna lock both of them up together and uh we'll sell for a little bit higher price because there will be two of them and they're brand new so like i said at the goodwill i found these bjr button downs the issue was is three out of the five had stains or little rips on them these were the only two that looked pretty good condition and uh i'm just gonna lock them up together show the other one there you go. I'm going to lock both of these up together and they, they're, they're vintage from what I know. So they should sell pretty good. They're a good size and nice colors. This one is a 12 inch personal paper trimmer by Carl. It's brand new and they only wanted $2.98. And I think I can get for about $20 for it because it is brand new. The listings that I saw on eBay were used. Oh, what else did we get in there? Oh yeah, this one, this one, I think this would sell a lot better on Amazon, but I think this is a jock strap for adults 135 pounds to 160 pounds uh 298 another really good find and then these things uh, we only need to see one of them holy crap that's shining bright on me it's another phillips respironics uh minimal contact face cushion we found three of them so i'm probably gonna lock all three together and uh yeah they're all brand new very nice and then girlfriend actually found these things they're ever built dryer duct connectors and they only wanted a dollar 98 for these everything is in the box which is literally just paperwork and then those two things you see right there but another good flip we'll get there and that's pretty much everything that we found not too bad of a day not that great of a day either i'm trying to stay away from doing too many clothes because uh, they're not really moving as fast as I really want them to, but not bad. Now we gotta go get some lunch. Bye-bye.